spot right here. Ah, now you can see me. Well, I learned an important lesson today. You know what that important lesson is? Uh, my drive time is from nine until one. Otherwise, I get really, really, really insanely tired. What I did was I waited until Michelle came home to say goodbye. She didn't come home until like 9, 30, 10 o'clock. And that cut right into my drive time. And then we stayed and talked for about an hour and a half and yada, yada, yada. Anyways, I crossed the, the Tennessee border, as you can see. Yeah, and I'm insanely tired. So I'm going to do about 60, 70 miles today and then start all over again in the morning. Uh, and drive as much as I can, but I don't want to strain the engine, so that. All right, I'm gonna get back on the road. get some sleep because I'm I am I have only had four hours of sleep I am gonna go to the Walmart and get some food for the road Ugh. wow oodles of fun kitties all right that was my transit it's a rough night I shouldn't do that again the next transit should be passing passing by Na Nashville I'm gonna do that later on tonight about nine o'clock drive for 150 to 200 miles and then pull over because I'm not doing that again. And then it's time to head west. I got through the mountainous part. I was a little worried about that, about getting through the mountains. Uh, but now I see that, you know, looking at the map, it's, uh, it's basically going to be smooth sailing from here, mountain wise. So the van won't be stressed that much. It's, look, another van. Pulled over for the night, living in the Walmart parking lot. Yay. There's actually a, a car right in front of me. I don't know if you can see this or not. You can see the condensation on the inside of the vehicle. That's clearly somebody sleeping in their car. Well, I had a lovely day, actually. Spent most of it in the car. Tried to get some work done. And found something really interesting that I was going to show you. But unfortunately, the county seat took it down. So here's what happened. About three or four years ago, the county seat, actually the county courthouse, had designated on their front lawn a Freedom Plaza. And they invited a whole bunch of people to, uh, to put up statues, world famous statues. And one of those statues was a, a cross or a crucifix. And some folks took offense to that, that you should not be mixing government and religious artifacts like that. In, in response to that, they put up something that I think is absolutely hysterical. Now, mind you, I understand the reason why they took it down and I understand why they, took, why they just shut it, all, shut it all down. You know, it's, it only takes one person to shut down the fun. Here's what happened. Uh, in response to the crucifix going up, the, um, some of the residents decided because of, you know, they didn't want, you know, mixing religious freedoms, they put up a statue of the flying spaghetti monster. Hi, Future Miles here. If you don't know what the flying spaghetti monster is, it's the deity of the church of the flying spaghetti monster or Pastafarianism, 
reading from Wikipedia, this is a social movement that promotes a lighthearted view of religion and opposes the teaching of intelligent design and creationism in public schools. All right, that's a very brief thing, but if you want to go look, uh, find out more about Pastafarianism and the Church of the Flying Spaghetti Monster and the Flying Spaghetti Monster deity, then uh, follow the link down below in the description. All right, now back to the video. Now, I think that's hysterical. I, I would have loved to have seen it. And actually what happened was I drove all the way to the county seat, which is like three miles from here. Went looking for it and I'm like, I can't find it. Did I, did I pass it? Did I miss it? And I just didn't do, go deep enough in my research to find out that the county seat had actually, the county clerk had actually pulled the damn thing. And that was, that was basically the end of it. They took out all the statues and there went the flying spaghetti monster. So I was all prepared to do this, you know, cute little report today about the flying spaghetti monster being here in, where am I? Cross, Crossville, Crossville, Tennessee. Cause that would have been way cool, but alas, not going to happen. So not so much with that idea. So my next stop is Nashville. It's about 114 miles from here and I'll spend the night there. And then I have a surprise for you folks. Assuming I can get, I, I, I can make this happen. If I can make it happen, great. Then your next video will, after, after you see this one, will be the surprise. And I will give you a tiny little hint. So here's the hint. It has to do with the Greeks and it has to do with one of their very famous buildings and I will leave that right there. All right, so you can pretty much figure out if, if you know that I'm going to Nashville and you know it has to do with a very famous Greek building, then you can pretty much know what I'm gonna show you. But I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. I'm gonna go spend the day there if I can. Uh, that's assuming that, that, that it's open. If it's open, then I'm <laughs> gonna go do this because I think it's really cool. All right, that is all the news that has fit the video for today. And I look forward to seeing you later.